after quite a while we are back in Ticino and spring has arrived here definitely there's still some snow in the mountains but but the flowers start to bloom it's warmer it's like 16 degrees it's yeah just nice springtime and all the people start going out so for Ticino this means that the quiet winter is over actually we spent quite some time here in Ticino in winter because yeah it was quiet there were no tourists people were super relaxed and we really enjoyed it and we also enjoyed our home here so it was quite a nice time but today we were really really working hard we cleaned the whole house because now tourist season starts in Ticino and as many of you know we rent out our home for holiday guests so it was time to really give it a deep clean and to prepare it for the first guests of the season who will stay over Easter and the following weeks some more guests will arrive so was really time to get it ready and we also made during the winter we made some upgrades um, to the house some improvements like not big renovations just some minor things but uh, we will give you a tour today of the whole village where we are which is tiny uh, and again of the house with all the improvements and for all those who are new to the channel that you also get an idea what Casa Olamundo looks like. So I would say so, let's go. Welcome to Cortina. Cortina is a village in Valcolla. It's down in the valley so um, it's surrounded by beautiful forest of chestnut trees and yeah it's a tiny tiny village actually we don't know how many inhabitants it really has it's really small If you reach Gutina by car, then our guest, they have a parking for free, then number three. And if you reach Gutina by motorcycle, then the parking space can also be here behind the church. From the parking, you keep walking into the village itself, just straight ahead. Keep walking straight down a few steps. And here we are. Welcome to Casa Olamundo. This small High house is Casa Olamundo. Right in front we have a small tiny garden with some spring flowers and there are also some herbs. So all our guests can feel free to use the herbs when they are cooking. Just help yourself. To enter the house, you just follow the stairs up because the entrance is behind the house. Here you turn right and here we are. 
casa o la mondo? The key you will find it in the box on this side. Come. A left hand from this door you will find the, the key box. And here we are. Welcome home. One upgrade we did in winter is this big sofa. That's a new one. And we have a lot of info material what to do in the region of Valcola and Lugano. And yeah, as you can see last year we were rated on Booking.com 9.3. We were very happy about that. And what is also new that all our guests, they have to pay a tourism fee, which is mandatory here in Ticino. It's not for us, it's for the government, but at least they gave us this discount card. So with a QR code, you can scan it and get discount for a lot of activities and entrances in the region, which is very nice for the guests. Here in the bathroom, there is basically nothing new and also not in the kitchen. It is like before, but it's fully equipped so you can cook what you like here. Now even in spring it's really nice, warm and toasty here. So it's amazing just to take in the Ticino sun. And what we have seen is that we have this grape. For those who watched uh, the old videos we have, we had tons of grape last year just from this one. Um, and it started to get the first leaves. Look at that. Let's go to the second floor. Here we come to the master bedroom. Also here, nothing new like it was last year. And behind the master bedroom is our tiny room where we did some much needed improvements. We have the reading chair here and we have the sofa bed which sleeps two people right here. And the last improvement we did is that we put the washing machine here next to the hot water boiler and like this all our guests can use the washing machine for free which is very helpful, especially for the long-term guests. You wonder what this is? You can see it from the staircase. And this was the former oven. And yeah, it's a bit unique here in the area to still have the old oven from the ancient times. Quite cool. And we highly recommend you to take a little stroll just through the village, which is done in 10-15 minutes, but it's really beautiful. feel like hiking, that's a thing to do here. Mm -hmm. 
And here we come to the place for which Cortina is famous in Ticino. This bridge. It is the longest covered bridge in Ticino. In the river through the Valcolla called Casarate and he goes down to the lake of Lugano. In summer you can just come down to the river. It's really a cold one. It's like this freezing mountain river temperature, but you can go there and have a dip. You cannot swim in the river, it's not that deep, but you can sit in it and just chill among the rocks. Every time we go for a hike here among the forest or also a bit uphill, I have done a video of a hike to Montebar. I will link it up here. It's a really nice hike and every time we do the hikes here in the region, we find a deer or even one time a wild boar. So there's really some wildlife here in Valcola. If you will reach Cortina by public bus, called Postauto in Switzerland, in German. Uh, it's opposite of the bridge. And there is the, the station. And this is how the hikes here look like. This one is flat, mostly goes up or down in Valcola, but yeah, really great to hike here or to go by mountain bike. So. I hope you like the village tour today and the tour of Casa Olamundo. Don't forget to subscribe if you like it. Uh, but we are not finished with the video. We will now go to Tesserete, which is the next biggest town close to Cortina. And we will take you on a small tour around Tesserete. This is when you stay in Cortina, where you can do your groceries, where you can drink a coffee, have an ice cream, and yeah. yeah. I had to love, she said, a tour around the Serete, but probably the tour will be around the ice cream station. <laughs> of course, gelato, we are in Ticino. <laughs> Let's go. On the way from Casa Olamundo to Tesserete, you find this beautiful church on the way. And we highly recommend you to stop here just quickly to have a look because the views are amazing. You see as far as Lugano and the lake. the region of which Tesserete is the main town and as I said already it's the closest town to Casa Olamundo. The most important thing here in Tesserete which we always come for is gelato. The gelateria Tesserete really has the best ice cream in the region so I would say let's go inside. took fig and wild berries. And you? I have stracciatella and pistache. Hey. This is how two happy people look like when they <laughs> didn't have the ice cream for half a year. Because 
In winter, the gelateria is closed. <laughs> Here in Tesserete you have the bank, <coughs> next to the gelateria, then you have Mikro, a supermarket, next to it you have a pharmacy, there is a dentist, a flower shop, a bar, I think two or three hotels, so here you really have everything you, you need no need to go somewhere else and it's a pretty relaxed town i have to say Tesserete easily serves as a hub where to explore the region of Capriasca and also it's the entrance to the Valcola so you have a central bus station here by bus you can come from Lugano and spread into the different valleys and there are also a lot of hiking trails a lot of mountain bike trails and even rock climbing at the Denti della Vecchia and all starts here so you get all the information also here At the day, we take a short walk around the Lago di Orillo. It's a nature reserve. It's a very small lake, perfectly fine for a nice afternoon walk and to relax. And there are a lot of dogs around. So if you are a dog lover, you have to come here. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video today. Our update from Casa Olamundo, the little tour around Tesserete and now beautiful nature at Lago di Orillo. And yeah, see you in the next one. See you. Bye bye. Hola mundo. Hola mundo. This here is a little bookstore. You can rent a book, sit down, read it and leave it there. It's all Italian. <laughs> Good no, to no, learn. No, 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 no. Ah. <laughs>the houses behind me on the hill. This is the beginning of Tesserete and up there this mountain is Monte Bar where I did this nice hike. So and yeah I'm at Lago di Aurelio.